What's up, my crazy squad? This is Jerkin Johnson before here will bring us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's gameplay because today's gameplay I was rolling around with my clan, actually X Clan, but we're still rolling around together because the, the clan leader knows how I am and he knows how I, how I perform most of the time. And you know, we decided to play together in Black Ops 3, and it was a super good time here in Team Deathmatch. It's just that I, I never got like higher kills, so. You know, this is one of the few gameplays where I actually did pretty well with, uh, with Akuda and um, pretty much uh, went over 25 kills. So, And also, I did call in all my kill streaks. And one thing I want to let you guys know, the stealth bomber for this game fucking sucks. Compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where it was OP as hell, it would even kill you if you're inside a building. That was OP. This here is one piece of crap of a kill streak. Do not use it. Do not install it. I don't care if you're saving enough coins right now. You like use one coin. Do not use that coin for the stealth bomber. I'm warning you right now. That kill streak sucks. It doesn't even kill anybody. I didn't even get a single kill half of the time. Even an open nest map. So I don't know man. I don't recommend stealth bomber this year. This year is a total crap. I recommend mostly the missile strike or the um the other one, the lightning strike, but I haven't used the lightning strike yet yet, but I have gotten the care package so um, I know how it rolls, so I recommend the lightning strike over the um, over the stealth bomber because the stealth bomber ain't gonna get you any kills. So um, another thing is, you know, the Cuda is still pretty much of a beastie ass weapon. I'm sneaking around, flanking the enemy. Don't even know where I'm coming from with the silencer on. So it's a great strategical advancing, you know, weapon, whatever you want. I want to call it like. All I want to say is like a great strategical weapon. You can just advance slowly around the maps, you know, because this game is kind of slow paced. So I'm advancing slowly, kind of reminding myself about my Modern Warfare 3 days because, you know, Modern Warfare 3 only had lightweight but did not have Marathon or something like that. I'm not sure what it didn't have, but I know Modern Warfare 3 was another slow ass paced game from Call of Duty. And um, I'm kind of reminding myself about my Modern Warfare 3 days because back in the day, I used to get like 50 kills per game in Modern Warfare 3. So, with, in order for me to do that again, you know, I gotta remember myself, like, what did I used to do. So, I did this in my, one of my old gameplays and um, kind of reminded me, like, what, what attachments I used to do and, you know, what strategies I used to run with. And um, it's kind of working with me, like, this gameplay. So, um, yeah, I'm learning a lot of my, about myself in the past because in the past, you know, I was pretty much the shit. <laughs> I was averaging, like, around 50 to 40, game, 40 kills per game. So, yeah, it's insane stuff, man. The highest rank I ever got like, in Modern Warfare 3 in Team Deathmatch and Domination would be like rank 300 and that's it. You know, I was like scoring a lot of points and getting a lot of kills and free and like it was just insane. So um, yeah, I do have a good history with Call of Duty. So, um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about guys. I will end early right here. And by the way, the freaking Hive weapon is beastie. I recommend to use this thing like forever because it gives you those extra kills even after you're dead. Even after they kill you, you can attempt to see people like running over the hives all the time and it's just super fun to use. I recommend to unlock this guy right away. Well, actually, you can't unlock him right away. You can have to be level 28. Um, once you get to level 28, use this guy. The guy with the hive weapon. I forgot his name. I think his name is Prophet or something. But um, no, actually that's the first guy. Let me check right now my Black Ops 3 data because right now it's on my down. screen on my TV. Because, uh, you know, this specialist guy is just a beast. Uh, his name is Nomad. The Nomad Specialist, I recommend it. Equip it right now. Don't worry about the bow, the crossbow. I know you want to look cool. I know you want to play Crisis or something. But if you want to win games, for real, so if you want to rank up, you want to level up ASAP, use the right weapons, use the right equipment, and use the correct combination that's going to get you to the best, you know, in the leaderboard. So... Yeah, I want you guys to succeed, like I've been saying like always, so follow my tips, use the Nomad, install the Hive, shoot that shit on the floor to cover hallways and something, and you're going to be able to see extra points coming in, and your kill streaks are going to rack up like instantly, so I recommend that. Yes, you can see this gameplay, I'm going 16 and 3. It is a great stealthy weapon, I'm telling you. The Kuda is just a, a, a well-rounded weapon. It's an all-around weapon. Medium range, short range, long range, you're going to kind of... You know, struggle since it's SN, it's um, SNG. It could kind of be like a peacekeeper if you wanted to, but nah. I can't. Ops at work. So I went 17 and 4. I thought I went 20. So I actually put on the wrong gameplay <laughs> while doing this because they didn't check the ending. So um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully, you guys understand the Kuda still beastie out there. Unlock every single attachment because 
in the next video, like in an hour or two, I'll be posting up the best class setup for the CUDA. So pay attention to that video because it's going to make you win games and also increase your KD like you've never seen it before from close combat battles. And it's going to make you rush even more. So subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 beta.